The squirrel does not give a shit that we are right here watching him. I wonder what would happen if... Should I? Hmm. Should I? Should I not? Hmm. <laughs> this is what squirrels do. They destroy everything. He does not care that Ramsey's right here, and I don't even have the window clipped, so really if he wanted to, he could get out. But he doesn't know that. So I've just been messing around here with all these bungee cords and I found a way to rig up the jerry can to this, well it's kind of like my Givy case holder, but this way when I need to fill up on gas I can just run this thing to a gas station, open up the seat, fill up the tank, but then also I can just fill this up as well. I don't even have to take it off of here. I can just fill the gas in there and screw this back on and away I go. Pretty secure. This thing doesn't take much gas. I just put Supreme in it and this little jerry can is five liters and a full one of these, well the scooter won't even take a full one of these so it probably takes like, I'm not sure, I'm gonna guess between three and four liters of uh, gas before the tank is full. I'll have to test that out though. Might run to the gas station later today. It is pretty nice out so. Well it's early May now and the camper's been dewinterized since I'm pretty sure April 1st. So I picked up one of these smaller um, water containers right here 200 liters so I'm pretty sure that's 21 gallons I painted it dark green just so the sun doesn't penetrate or the light doesn't penetrate the water and it doesn't get all algae like I guess but I just went ahead and filled these barrels because we had rain recently so this rain barrel was full and this rain barrel was full, but this one here is just an extra. I've just set it up under that one um, rain gutter there. So pretty much when it does rain and there's a set steady stream coming off of that gutter, I just line this barrel up so that the water lands in this little funnel and it has a screen there so no debris gets in the water. So I just transfer the water from this barrel just around the trailer to the back uh, gravity fed system back there. So yeah, just use the transfer pump. Have one hose directly in the barrel here, sucking the water up and then this side, another hose from this side so you can transfer the water up into these upper barrels. So the blue barrel up here is 60 gallon and the smaller one there that's painted green is 21 gallon so you have about 81 gallons of water up above and I have two hoses coming off each one so you can see underneath here this hose coming off the blue barrel I can just open this up and the hose I can just stick directly into the potable water inlet same thing for this other one. Let me come around here. I have a hose rigged up over here so I can just open this up and 
this hose would put be put directly into there as well. So that's just a quick way to um, fill the onboard tank up. And oh, it's so much better because it's very quick to do. I guess the thing that's not so quick to do is when both of those barrels are empty and you need to fill them up with water. That just takes a little bit of time with the transfer pump. Got my battery on the dolly here. I just cart that over to bring it close to these wires to hook it up. I just want to see this battery was reading 12.85 uh, when right before I used the transfer pump. So now I'm just gonna see what it's read. 12.72. So it didn't use a whole lot of battery doing that water transfer, but now I'm gonna hook it up to the spare solar panels just to charge it up. For the spare panels have been working out great on this awning. I went ahead and added um, Ever, what are they called, Everbright? Yeah, just a couple of those little solar lights on each post here. First some added light in the dark back here. But all those wires hanging down that you saw before, I just kind of grabbed and I have them put on a little hook up under the roof here. You can kind of see it's just um, like a screw hook, I guess. And I just kind of like put the wires around that thing just to clean it up a little they were dangling like crazy here and then they come down and I just have them hooked up to this battery here with the cover on it from the rain again until I can build a until I can build some kind of a battery box back here which I do plan on doing soon <laughs> but I'm probably gonna unhook this battery and hook up the uh, the other one there that I just used for the transfer pump. The wood's getting pretty low too. That's what's left under the catio. I do have more. I just need to throw it on the back of the three-wheeler and bring it here and pile it underneath of there. But definitely still do need to burn wood at night because it's, it still gets chilly at night. And it probably will for a while. Probably right until close to July, I'm going to guess. But yeah, so... I've got some piling, wood piling to do today. Got some nice buds on the maple tree there. Oh, and the black flies are out. Yay. Haven't had a fire since this morning. It's 18 degrees outside right now, Celsius, and 23 in here. Battery's looking good. kind of been raining off and on today so I'm filling up the rain barrels this barrel is great because you can actually see where the water level is the other blue one it's a little harder you kind of have to stick a flashlight in or you know you only really know it's full when you can check from the top or I suppose can give it a wiggle and if you can move it chances are it's not quite halfway there Ramsey he likes to hang out on the catio on rainy days I don't even think he sees me Ramsey Oh, he's got some water to lick up over there. How's that for you? Piled a little more wood under there from how you seen it last, I guess. For a cloudy, rainy day though, still getting pretty good solar here. Batteries are nice and full. <laughs> 